о разрешите представить фаундер и SEO компании AppSpire. Речь, естественно же, пойдет об аналитике, потому что у этой компании стоит поучиться именно подходу к тому, как планировать свой подход к аналитике. Об аналитике какая она должна быть, что, с чем интегрировать, какие цифры собирать в первую очередь, как с ними играться потом, можно разговаривать бесконечно. Но чтобы немножко сфокусироваться да, и не растекаться на этой очень-очень обширной теме, Орен в первую очередь будет рассказывать о том, какой вы должны выбрать для себя подход, чтобы выстроить внутри компании правильную аналитику, которая позволит вам в дальнейшем на ее базе принимать решения. The guys uh, from Casual Connect told me to speak about designing and integrating effective analytics, which is very, very wide and probably the most important thing that you're going to do with your application or game. I have only 20 minutes, so I'll try to focus on the main three things I learned uh, through my journey in AppsFlyer when we started it in 2011. The three things are why, why analytics is so important. Second thing is what? What is exactly analytics? Because we see a lot of confusion in defining the word analytics. And mobile. I'm going to take a uh, uh, talk a little bit about mobile because this is what we do. We have a lot of challenges in mobile and we're going to discuss it a little bit. Hi, my name is Oren Kaniel, like Tani uh, uh, Tatiana said. Um, I'm the CEO and founder of uh, AppSlide. So why should we care? I mean, everything starts from some kind of an incentive. Data is the new oil, and especially for free-to-play game, and that's the model that you've most, of, most of you guys probably gonna go for. And analytics is the engine. You have a lot of data, but you have to have a good engine of analytics to understand what works and what doesn't, and how to improve. Actually, it's not, it doesn't necessarily have to be very complex, and we'll, we'll discuss that. So what's analytics anyway? Well, it really depends. It depends who you ask. If you ask the product guy in the organization, he will tell you one thing. Marketing, different. The CFO, totally different. And R&D, also different. All of them are analytics. Let's uh, discuss it a little bit. CFO. CFO will probably talk about revenues and expenses and working capital, lifetime value, return on investment, rates, interest rate, currency rates, all these rates. And it's probably going to use Excel file. The R&D will use statistics and analytics around CPU, servers, latency, crashes, crashes analytics, in order to make sure your application or game is responsive. In Appsfly, I can tell you that we have deep analytics into our operational servers in order to identify problems even before they occur, and we use analytics for that. Product. Product is probably the most important thing that you have, your game. So in order to, to design or to develop your best product, you probably want to collect a lot, a lot of data about usage, versions, doing A-B testing, launching new features, monetization. And in product, I, I, can, ca I can tell you one, one thing. You can collect, collect a lot of data, but you really need to ask the right questions. When we started the company, I'll give uh, that example because it's very easy for me. We didn't have a lot of clients, but we did have their phone numbers, their emails. We called them, we asked them every day how they use the product and what they want to see. So it was very qualifying kind of questions. But right now, when you have more users, you have to have data and ask the data questions, but to get the same answer. What they want to see, what they didn't like, what they like. But in, in the end of the day, that's answering the same kind of questions. 
I met uh, one company here in the audience uh, yesterday. They they are doing uh, like uh, beta testing for their their mobile app mobile mobile game for beta tester groups, and they they film it, they video it, and they can ask questions the guys that are playing the game in order to develop a better game. And there are tools for that. Marketing. That's a different a team in your organization. You probably want to monitor new channels, attribution, cost per click, cost per action, lifetime value, ROI, performance, performance marketing, digital marketing, social marketing. You need to monitor and analyze all these kind of information. And what we see that many companies confuse between the, the two uh, areas. They confuse between product and marketing. Let's take a look at them. Both, both teams would like to improve sales, have a better ROI, better lifetime value. But the tool set that they need to apply is totally different. The product guy or the game designer would like to have a look, a deep look at the versions, usage, A-B testing, introducing new features, monetization, how they monetize. They have, have the right kind of offer to the right user at the right time. Some users monetize on in-app purchases, others monetize on actions. And that's the product. And for marketing, it's that's totally different. And I can give you an example. Few of the best marketing guys, digital marketing, I'm saying, do not even know the product. They don't care. They know how to find the relevant audience for the, for the right game. They know how to deliver profitable users into the right game. They know to optimize. They know what they're looking for at the data. They want conversions. They want in-app purchases. So in the end of the day, the data that you're looking for, if you're doing marketing or product, is totally different. Let's take a look at ROI, for example. Product manager would look at, at ROI as one whole number. Marketing guys, it's an average of multiple kind of things, like different, different campaigns, different creative, different sources of clients. Mobile is the third thing I want to discuss with you. Why? I, I can tell you that um, we were here last year. Uh, many of the companies and the publisher were in mobile or going into mobile. And this year, it's I can say it's almost many or most of the companies we discussed on mobile and some of them, everybody's thinking, and I can tell you that next year probably, every be, everybody will be mobile. And mobile introduced new challenges. Let's discuss them. Different operation system, iOS, Android, the rise of the app stores. That's a new entity, right? If your games are on the web, right now your game's in Orn, a third party store, Apple App Store, Amazon, Google Play. So you're sending your clients or your players to a third party store, but you don't have full control of. Click, I, I'll, I'll spend some time here. If you're running a campaign, a social campaign, a paid campaign, it doesn't really matter, on, on web, if a user clicks, a banner ad, it goes to your game. He starts to play your game, right? On mobile, you send your users to the App Store. The App Store, and then there is a long journey from the App Store until he actually gets into the game. Let's see what's going on. He clicks a banner, he goes to the App Store, he, ne he needs to get the password right, wait for the game to download. If it's a 3G and the game is too big, it's not gonna download. 
and then he needs to open the application and that's the equivalent of a click so we saw many companies treating mobile clicks and web clicks the same you have to have some kind of data collection and analytics in order to analyze the value of that click that's also analytics native co code uh, constraints if you got used to uh, the convenient of HTML, server-side, JavaScript, that's no longer exist in mobile. That's native code. No cookies. I don't think I have to, uh, to explain here a lot, but uh, cookie is probably the most important thing for measurement and analytics on the web, and it doesn't exist on mobile. User acquisition channel fragmentation. Uh, I can tell you that uh, we at the company integrated with more than 250 different ad networks and user acquisition platforms. So for a developer to try to acquire new users, he will probably need to check 250 different sources and then optimize internally inside this ad network. You probably have to have like a big team to do that. But if you have the right analytics tools, and you know how to collect the data, you would probably be able to do that pretty, uh, very fast. Now, there are two good things in mobile. Actually, there are many things that are good in mobile, but uh, that's the benefit here. Um, higher K factor. What's K factor? It's easy. Let's uh, th think about it as app virality. If you drive one, one User, how many users he brings, uh, brings with it? And mobile has a very high fact K factor because in mobile you're not sitting in your room playing something. You're doing it outside. Whether it's your, your family, your friends. App stores, ranking, especially in iOS. The ranking is affected by the traffic and the users of, uh, usage of the application. And I can tell you that. Apple is changing it, but it doesn't really matter. There is a big effect. So the K factor is high. It means that if you can invest and measure it correctly, the probably the ROI that you're looking at is better than web. Higher lifetime value. Um, what we see that developers are having a, a higher li lifetime value for, for mobile. Why is that? Instead of just clicking it, clicking uh, on a banner and going to, the, to a game, you download the, an application. You can engage and re-engage your users to come back to the application. Push messages, that's a whole new kind of word that opened than what you have on the web. So that's uh, two kind of very high or uh, benefits that you can gain if you do the analytics right. So if you overcome the challenges of analytics on mobile, the next king.com can be right here. You just need to measure your data and again, it's not, it doesn't have to be a rocket science. Even asking your, your, your clients or the right clients the right questions and act on it, that's also analytics. Well, so collect, analyze, act, and protect your data. Data is your most important thing that you have. That's an asset. It's on your, not on your books, but it's an asset, so protect it. Даже вам скажу, почему вот я так писала, сидела. Нужно организаторам, ну, чтобы потом на сайте было самую яркую фразу из презентации выдернуть, записать, и она будет потом тайтлом к презентации. И как раз вот последние слова я пыталась успеть записать, чтобы потом их на сайт добавить. Я там не смс строчу. Все нормально. Какие вопросы? 
по аналитике, как в Слайеру. Вопросов нет? Я тогда задам вопрос. Но вот все-таки… Sorry. Forgetting the switch. Uh, Oren, you said about very many different uh, types of analytics you need to gather, you need to collect. But if we speak like in gen and two different approaches for figures needed by product uh, team and marketing team. But in the very beginning, what do you say a mobile free-to-play casual game developer, a small one, from what figures it's like, what is the must? Okay, small one. Uh, small one would probably looking at developing the best game. So developing the best game, that's that's very clear. That's a product guy. The product guy has to collect the data, analyze it, and pro and create the best product and the best game. Um, again, it can start with a user group to call them, to watch them play it, to have the right offer in the right time. That's free to play. It's about product and data. Collecting the data and have the right offer at the right time to the right person. Now the probably the offer can be different like I mentioned. Um, maybe in our purchases, I'm just giving clues. In our purchases probably wanna gonna gonna work better for iOS devices and iOS users than Android. Android you can monetize differently, but you can test it. You can test it. I mean it's it's different different for different uh, 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 countries also different but to begin with for a small developer in the developers you probably want to create the best game and maybe you can learn from different games and other games and then create your big game so you can create like tests in this games and different games and then create your big game I think I think uh, king.com is, is, is a very good example yeah Questions? Окей. So I think you can. Я думаю, вы можете поймать Орена, и уже если вот вы работаете с Абсфлайером, то, наверное, у вас есть private вопросы, которые вы хотите задать про интеграцию и прочее. И еще Орен здесь на конференции, они спонсоры, их можно найти в зале на первом этаже. Вот есть Лиза, она на русском говорит, это еще проще для ну для некоторых. Okay, спасибо. Спасибо.